looks like we got hit with a snowstorm. And it's falling to my face. Well, that's a good thing about snow. I can go back inside and do some data recovery. Let's go. So we're back inside now, away from this crazy snow because uh, I don't know who would want to do recovery in the snow. Seriously. Well, well anyways, um, got this phone uh, last week. Finally getting to it today, um, and it's Sony. So I have absolutely no idea what phone this is. I I've checked out the entire phone. There's like no markings here, nothing. Sony didn't put anything on here, and so it's Xperia. I'm almost certain this is not encrypted it's like almost 100% um, sure it's not encrypted but on the off chance that it is we're not gonna do a chip up so um, I pulled the shield off and had a look at the, um, the chips so anyways I pulled the shield off and had a look at the chips and this board does look like it's something probably uh, at least six years old, five years old. Um, not exactly sure if Sony still makes Xperia's. I think this is a, a 2015 or 2014 model, but you know, guessing is one thing, but we, we can't be really guessing here because we need to know exactly what this is. The phone doesn't work. Uh, it could be that the memory chip is dead because it is charging, it's just not responding. So um, there's a good chance the memory chip is dead, but um, who knows? This is what the board looks like underneath. The microscope. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna go and look through ZXW. No, I look through 3ZX um, Easy JTAG to see if I can find a matching board. And if I do, then uh, we can just run ISP and pull the data off of this thing. But anyways, that's. Uh, I'm gonna look through that, and I'll be back here if I do find it. Anyways. I have no idea what this is. I can find nothing in Easy JTAG, so let's open this stupid thing and look inside. So, an update on this. There it is. Clearly, I don't work on Sony's very often, so I completely forgot about this. So there's a sleeve here inside of a SIM tray. You just pull it out and uh, there's the info what this is. Alrighty then, let's uh, figure out if we can do ISP on this. Okay, so we got the board out. Um, I don't see any issues with the motherboard. So I think uh, we're just gonna pull the chip and see if we can read it. I am almost certain this chip is dead. Almost certain that, but uh, if it is, then that's gonna be it for this video. Um, but if it isn't, then we'll get the data. So let's take it over to the uh, infrared station and take it off and see what we get. Okay, so we got the chip out. Chip is out. Let's give it a quick clean here. There was no underfill on this chip, which was nice. I'm still 
I'm not totally convinced this chip is gonna work. I honestly think um, this chip is gonna have some major, major problems. It is not gonna work for sure, but we gotta try these things anyways. Let's make sure it does work. So we're gonna clean it up, and I wanna see <clears throat> if I have a reader for this. This is EMCP, this is not EMMC, this is EMCP. You see the configuration of the pins is a little bit different, so it's a bit different chip altogether. Um, let's get a reader and see if this thing works. Okay, so here we are in my uh, one of my stations. So the chip is in. Um, we're gonna see if it works. So I plugged it in through the Gardonics, so the USB stabilizer, uh, just in case there are some problems with the chip and uh, we are going to power it on and see if it works so let's hit power here detected right away which is awesome so let's just change some settings here this is the flash drive let's try speed optimization on just for the hell of it and um, let's refresh oh it's already here actually okay well, that's good. Here's user data, so that's good. That's a good sign. And it's uh, it's reading nicely, so that's pretty good. So if it is working, we're gonna take an image, and then uh, we're gonna put it through Celebrite. I'm not gonna film that portion because I've done this millions of times. So yeah, it's reading. Let's jump to media zero okay that's a good sign yeah so it's not encrypted let's just open one image here all right that's the data recovered okay so now all we're gonna do is select the drive um, create image and we're gonna put it on my other station Just give it a folder. Okay, this is Sony. Dump. LTD. Save. And bite by bytes. And we're gonna hit OK. It's saving to one of my network drives, my network storage rate system here. So uh, we're getting 15 megs a second. That's not bad. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, there'll be more coming as usual. I'm gonna try to stick to that Monday schedule, but no promises there. Uh, but uh, I have some good ideas for future videos. So yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.